hello. Um, I'm going to tell you about our project called uh, the, the Cultural Heritage Cluster uh, in five minutes, so it's going to be a bit fast, I think. Um, and uh, things will be revealed as we go along, right? Uh, but the purpose of this project is to facilitate uh, large-scale uh, computational humanities uh, at our library, uh, assisting the re researchers. Um, and the way uh, um, we, we are able to do this is because we have a national uh, organization that provides uh, compute power and internet for the research institutions in Denmark. And they were given the task of spreading the use of HPC to, uh, to the non-traditional HPC areas like humanities and social sciences. And so we actually got funding for creating this, uh, this supercomputer. Um, and, uh, and together with, with, uh, with the hardware and software and licenses for, for software, we also got funding for pilot projects with researchers. Um, we have funding for around 15 uh, research projects each half a year. Um, and each research project gets what amounts to more or less 120 hours of our uh, expertise, uh, besides support, uh, an ordinary technical support of the platform. Um, <coughs> So uh, we got the funding, we have been building a, a platform, um, and we are, whenever we can, uh, getting into dialogue with researchers that might be interested in running large-scale computational humanities. So this is, large-scale is actually one of the keywords. Um, and then we're learning in the process, both, both us and the researchers are learning how to actually uh, use such a facility for, uh, for digital humanities. Um, okay, so what is this supercomputer? Because it's not a supercomputer. I, I, I like to call it the world's smallest supercomputer. Um, so it, it's 70 terabyte of distributed storage. It's uh, three terabyte of RAM, and it's this. You, you can read it yourself. What it is, uh, the hardware specs of it. Um, but then again, it, it's it's a, it's a Hadoop platform uh, based on a Hadoop distribution from from a firm called uh, Hortonworks. Uh, they have a, a free version of their, of their software, which we use on ours, so we don't pay anything for it. Um, and of, on top of this uh, Apache Hadoop platform, we have put our studio or, uh, and a Jupyter Hub, so the researcher can choose themselves if they want to use Python or R. Um, and we still have money. Uh, and for those money we still have for hardware, we, we're going to acquire uh, GPUs and, of course, uh, more uh, compute nodes. So I hope to double the 324 within a year, uh, and then also add some, some GPU uh, hardware to the cluster. Um, so, the elephant in the room. We have an elephant in our server room, because the official uh, mascot of Hadoop is an elephant. Um, oh, sorry. So, so um, yes. So, so, which kind of projects uh, are we running? Um, we just finished the project that were that is looking at other, or they were looking at the at the uh, national web archive, um, and you can see a bit about the specs on how, how the computer performs using our web archive, um, and the way it is that we have our uh, collection complete um, another system from from this cluster, and then we extract the the. The defined data in this example, just some metadata, some crawl logs, as they're called, metadata on on, on the content and the textual uh, representation or or the, the text extracted from the web pages, um, and then they have been doing some in, in this beginning uh, um, descriptive statistics, you might call them. They they just count what's in there, and um, later on they want to to uh, yeah counting words. Um, and later on, they also want to do uh, some 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 uh, classification of, of web pages, uh, like which domains were talking about refugees, which domains were talking about horses, and then are they connected? Uh, probably not, but that's the later on project. Um, and this are a list of the planned projects uh, with researchers that we actually have in the pipeline. Um, um, except the last two ones, they are only in, in what we call the dialogue phase, phase that's uh, us talking to the researchers to find out if what they want to do actually is a fit for our large-scale computational humanities uh, cluster. Um, 
Yes, and we have a logo. Uh, <laughs> that's what I have to say. So come to me if you want to hear more about how we did it uh, and also about how we, how we talk to the, to the researchers. Yes. Thank you very much.